Shout out to the K&J fans, and you're rocking with Kristen and Jamia. And we're back, you guys, for another mukbang. Woo! But not just any mukbang. What? But today we're doing a very special mukbang. We're having uh, gyros from Costco that are leftovers. Mm -hmm. And then we have some rotisserie chicken on the side from Costco. And some um, cucumbers and Be Love smack delicious yes. sauce. You guys, we've had this in our freezer for about a month or so? Yes, it's been in the right. freezer for a month, and we wanted to reheat it, so we did. Right. And we just had like leftover food, so we just wanted to eat that, and it yeah. looks amazing, I incredible. Know. Before we dive into the food, I wanna give a spe special, special shout out to the people who have signed up for our members program yes. on both YouTube and Facebook. Um, thank you so much to the people that have signed up for our members program. I just want to say the name super quick. Yes. Well, really quick before okay. you say it, I want to say it for those of you that don't okay. know about it. And oh, we'll yeah. talk about it through this video while we eat. But we have a members program. So if you guys are interested, it's right on. Uh, if it's if on YouTube, you should see a join button below this video. If you're on Facebook, you should see something saying support now. You just click it, watch the video and go from there. Yeah. I think our so. join button's on our homepage on YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's on, on every video. Oh, is it? Video, the oh my of the God, video. who knew? Know. Okay, cool. <laughs> Anyways, exactly. join our members program. You'll get exclusive yep. access to us, behind the scenes footage, more lives, more yes. giveaways. It's, a, it's a gonna be a really good time, so. Yes, giveaways every month, too. Every month we're gonna do a giveaway, which is great. So special shout out to the people that have signed up so far. Mm -hmm. Jasmine Galloway, mwah, we love you Jasmine, so much. Jasmine, ja um, Angelina Fragioni, and I'm so sorry if I oh. mispronounced it. It's mwah. all good. Angela, thank you so much for signing up. Thanks for joining. Millie Payton, mwah, we love you so much, Millie. Mm -hmm. Gladys Domingo, mwah, thank you so, 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 so much. Yes. And last but not least, Candace Vogt, girl, Thank you guys for signing up for our members program. Shout out to all to of you. you guys. Thank you so much for all the support and everything. We really can't thank you guys enough. And uh, we're looking forward to doing this program, guys. We're we looking are. forward to it. So in the meantime, Thumbnail, get it in. we're going to get it That's in. Starting. I know. <laughs> I can imagine. One, two, three. three. All right, we have not eaten all day, guys. All well since this morning. This morning. Yeah. It's, it's super late though. It's like way too late. Yeah, it's probably like eleven p.m. right now. Guys, get that beloved sauce going. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. That is good. Oh, good not the worst. Super good. Mmm. 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 Mm. I'm so, gonna, I'm gonna grab a water. Mm, oh, really quick, guys. Grab a water. I'll be right back. Um, today mm -hmm. we're gonna be reviewing some Netflix movies mm -hmm. and shows for you. Exactly. Lots on the agenda for the day. Um, we have we got three movies, guys. We have been we haven't I guess we haven't watched movies in a little while, but over the last week. We caught up with, we watched some Netflix stuff. Actually, two movies and one show. We got to recommend you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's re really good stuff. Really good stuff. So we're going to talk about that in just a few minutes. Mm -hmm. How was the chicken with that? Mm. So good? Mm -hmm. Okay. So check this out, guys. I don't know how to pronounce this. <laughs> is it peak? PQ? I think PK. PK. Uh -huh. This is this chili sauce that we get from our favorites, um... Puerto Rican restaurant. It's called, you know, Soul Food, which we've eaten before. This stuff is amazing, mm -hmm. guys. And uh, it goes, it works really well with chicken and uh, steak, too. It's really good with steak. Uh, but I'm about to use some of this on this chicken. Yes. And it's, I, you know, I it wish I could delicious. tell you. Yeah, it's it's incredible. It's a chili sauce, essentially. So there's chili peppers in there. It's spicy, um, but it's not overly hot. It's not like it's going to, you know, burn your mouth type of hot, but it's, it's really good. It's so good. I should dip it in and put it in the bowl, but you know what? I'm not even going to. Mm. I'm going to pour it right on. I am so excited. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Super hungry, huh? You guys, Jamil will attest to this. <laughs> I got hangry. But um, I'm luckily, I'm not like too mean. I'm just more whiny when I'm hungry. <laughs> right? Would you agree or would you say I'm mean? Yeah, no, I'd say that. It's okay, though. I get it, you know? Mm. It's tough. Like, you know, one of the things is 
that's difficult. You want to you want to do these mukbangs when you're hungry, right? But you also have to work on a proper the presentation. You want it all to like look good. So you're sitting here starving, and you got to put the light up. Mm -hmm. You got to get the mic right, the camera right. I was like pouring sweat earlier, oh. so I had to go <laughs> get some you know cool down a little bit. So it's yeah, you guys. It's tough, but you know, so I get it. I understand. Mm. Mm. What was that? Oh yeah. You good? Mm-hmm. It hits. Good. It hits, babe. Would you give it a five-star review? Yes, I would. Would you? <laughs> You're just hungry. I am. <laughs> I am just hungry. This is just hungry. So but it's a five star right now. <laughs> mm. I um, should try it with the we love sauce, the pitas. Yeah. Mm. Maybe it'll be good. That's good. Maybe good. Do you have a spoon? Do you need a spoon? Mm, I don't have a spoon. Do you want one? Um, if you want one, then yeah. I would use I'll it. I'll grab it really quick. Okay. I'll grab it really quick. You know why? Because I'm also going to get some dipping sauce for mm. for this stuff. Mm. Or not dipping sauce, but... Uh, mm. You guys, your girl is happy. A bowl of this is <laughs> by the way shout out stephanie gordon mm -hmm. this thing has been amazing mm -hmm. we've been using it well off oh, yeah. camera and on this thing is phenomenal stephanie gordon thank you so much once again for getting this for us because mm -hmm. i love it it's perfect it's it's a good medium size that works for um, a lot of stuff because we have we have little containers but they're circular and small this one's perfect because you can put a little more in it it is yeah and right. it works for both of us like soy sauce can go in there and everything mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. How is it? Mm. Be honest. One out of ten. What is it? A ten. <laughs> mm. So. You know I was hungry. I know. I don't blame you. Mm. I get it. So euros. We got these from Costco. Oh, yeah. We actually ate them um, originally during our YouTube live the other day. And when we made them, um, I, I, you know, I didn't have much time to make them. And I, um, I thought the pack that it came in, because it comes in a pack, had everything in there. It was pre-made 100%. But it actually didn't have vegetables. You know, onions, even seasoning. It needed seasoning. I didn't season it or anything. Oh. It just had the pitas. They're better this time. The tzatziki sauce on top. And I hope I said it right. Tzatziki. 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 <laughs> tzatziki sauce, and it had the, um, the, of course, the beef and lamb. But this time, we got it in. I added everything to it, so I'm excited to try it. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you made me two uh, euros, babe, because I only <laughs> wanted one. <laughs> no. Nope. That other oh. one is meeting me in the mall because <laughs> it's going down. It's meeting no me in the club. You can I'm have going mine down. Too. <laughs> right, That's right. all good. A picture of the young Jock dance moves now. Yep. <laughs> is that it? That's it. Is that what he does? That is, well, no, that's not what he does at all, actually. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> I use my shoulder. I know. Um, remember when we used to, um, <laughs> mm. <laughs> we used to dance to that song all the time, remember in the club? Or going to like the. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. No, it's embarrassing that I did it. It's not embarrassing you did it. Well, you, you know, cool. I practiced. Remember, I used to practice, guys. That? Yeah, no, it's not like, it's definitely not like that. That's what I was doing. <laughs> oh, that's what you were doing? No, it's like, uh, he goes oh, back. Oh, yeah, back. you did, you had the back yeah. situation going mm -hmm. on. I didn't do that. Ooh. You're welcome. Wow. I know. <laughs> Hell of Honestly, it. I was a little hesitant. I know you were. I wasn't sure that was going to be good. That was really good with the BLF sauce. Hella. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's going in again. <laughs> Let's give another dip. Um, yeah. Now, remember when we used to go, we used to go to like, there was like this bar slash lounge uh -huh. that we used to go to in our area. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, you guys, we would go and like oh, everyone, we'd, get it. we'd begin the day. Like it was this. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so Man, you know the days we used to go to clubs? Mm-hmm. I miss that. I know. I miss it. 
Well, so remember the one time we were dancing in Vegas and like how people were looking at us? No. We were at like in Mandalay Bay, we're at some type of like a club lounge area. Mm hmm Oh. And how the people were staring. Yeah, because we were getting it. We were killing it. <laughs> I'm and serious. That's actually why. I, well, I hope that's why. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I hope they like the dance moves. <laughs> but everyone else, no one else could really dance mm -hmm. there. And so there were others staring at, like looking back, <laughs> looking back in hindsight, there were others staring at us because we were getting it because we were. They might have thought we, we were, were just we were telling it up. We were just like yeah. <laughs> getting it, you know, not like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we looked cooler, but. Maybe not you. Maybe you weren't why they were looking at us. <laughs> oh, no, but, it's all good. Or they were staring at us because we were like awful. <laughs> you will never know. But no, it was so weird. here's what I think it was. Mm -hmm. I think it was. Um, I think maybe because of our energy, maybe we were, maybe they thought we were drunk. I don't know, but <laughs> we've gotten compliments on our dancing before. Mm -hmm. Have we, we? Yeah, remember we got people. Um, at least where we are. Mm -hmm. Where people were like, it sounds like I'm, I feel, sound like I'm validating our dancing. <laughs> I'm trying to validate that we can dance. We're playing compliments. We actually can dance. For my parents. Exactly. My mom said I was a good dancer. <laughs> my mom clapped when I danced. You know what I mean? I would <laughs> do some pop locking. Yeah. No, like, but how, how people come up to say you're yeah. good? Yeah. Me or you or me? I thought both of us. Oh, okay. I thought both of us. Mm. Didn't you say someone came up? Well, I thought someone came up to us one time and said, told you that. You guys are good dancers. Oh. <laughs> Bless you. Ooh. I vaguely remember. Me. Well, that happened because I remember you telling me that. I just don't remember exactly mm -hmm. what, what mm -hmm. place. And I don't, you know, I know. I try to remember. Mm -hmm. But back to this place in, in Vegas. Remember, uh, this was during the time where Bone Crusher. I don't know if you guys remember Bone Crusher. If you're a rap fan, you remember Bone Crusher back in like early 2000. Maybe like 2000. Three and four, I ain't never scared. I ain't yeah. never scared yeah. north. I ain't mm -hmm. never scared south. That one. I ain't never That's scared west. That one. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about that song. So yeah. <laughs> no, because it wasn't. I mean, he was huge, mm -hmm. but he, you know, he hasn't really done anything mainstream since. Uh -huh. But uh, why I'm saying is because that song played at the at the club that Chris was talking about, uh -huh. and I remember the DJ. Um, putting turn, you know, the DJ will like play the song and at certain points turn it down mm -hmm. to get the crowd into it. Uh -huh. And he's playing the song, everyone was dancing, we were dancing, and then he turned it down, and literally nobody said anything except me. And it was the part, yeah. remember yeah. that? Yeah. It was, uh, I ain't never scared, right? Yeah, and then after that, mm -hmm. <laughs> every time he turned it out, everyone shouted it. It was crazy. Remember? Oh, really? You don't remember that? Oh, so are you saying you started the rally in the club? Yes. That's what I remember. Do you remember that? Oh, I do. So you turned yeah. it down so we could wrap it. Yes. Yeah. And you were the well, only one doing it. Only one who said it. We got people hyped. Just and then everyone else started, yeah, saying it after that. And yeah, got super hyped. So yeah. it's good moments. We're basically amazing. <laughs> basically the coolest people ever. In case you're wondering. <laughs> <laughs> That's hella funny. No, but you know, it's No, it's but we moments. did go to that club and we do remember people couldn't dance, so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They'll probably share because they thought we were drunk. Because we're getting it. Because we, yeah, I mean, we're getting <laughs> it. We're feeling the music. Mm -hmm. Um. Anyways, let's do these movie reviews. Okay. Mm. Do you want mine? I swear you can have it if you want it. No. Are you sure? Positive. I promise you, if you're that hungry, you can. I don't mind. No. Okay. I feel good. I'm All gonna right. have to stop. Okay. Um. Hi. Did you get the spoon? Yeah. <laughs> it's still clean. I was wondering, it? yeah, oh. no, you haven't. <laughs> and I was wondering <laughs> where it was? Yeah, no, I I saw it. <laughs> and I was like, maybe you have it there for a reason and you haven't used it, so I just was like getting no, it because I, I was eating. I, I, I don't need it now. <laughs> no, I could use it now. It's fine. <laughs> You're funny. Thank just you, babe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Tell me all about it. Okay. Okay, guys. So our first movie oh, recommendation is One Br. On, yes. They're all on Netflix, by the way. Mm -hmm. <coughs> now, mm -hmm. this is a sorry psychological thriller. Psychological horror. Okay, maybe a horror. <coughs> I mean, yeah, I guess a horror. Which we like psychological movies. Yeah. 
Definitely like a lower budget. Yeah. Nothing, you know, you're not going to go and get. <laughs> it wasn't a million dollar budget. Yes. <laughs> the budget for sure was like, you know, very low. Yeah. So it's it's your if you like you know those horror movies that um, are are good but not like you know going in the theaters. Yeah. Like this is for you. So basically, should we say what it's about? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's basically this girl who's looking to get a one bedroom apartment mm -hmm. in a complex, and basically um, she moves in. You know they interview her amongst other people and she gets the place. And she's trying to be on her own and be successful in LA. It's based in LA. Mm -hmm. And basically, like these people in the in the complex in this like apartment area, uh, all the all the apartments face inward into like this courtyard. So everybody's kind of, you know, you can come out of your apartment and look across and another person comes out of their apartment. So it's in a courtyard. Mm -hmm. Anyways, everybody in this apartment building is super, super close to each other. Mm -hmm. Like very very friendly like huge sense of community strangely close to each other strangely close like everybody nice to each other they're always having like parties in the courtyard in the center and everyone makes it and everybody goes and she's yeah. just like you know initially just like oh my god like this is amazing like mm -hmm. sense of community mm. that's right what i'm saying mm -hmm. for her just backstory a little bit yes she was moving away from her parents mm -hmm. you know i think her she's dad. A, her dad who she thought was a little difficult um, to live around. So for her, this was like a freedom, mm -hmm. sense of freedom for her. Mm -hmm. So by people being very community oriented and really nice, mm -hmm. she felt very welcomed in to mm -hmm. that community. Mm -hmm. So anyway, sorry. And so anyways, uh, they asked her if she had a pet when she moves in. She said no, because she really wanted the apartment. Mm -hmm. Cause there's a no pet policy, but she ends up having a cat. Mm -hmm. Once the community finds out she has a cat, <laughs> it is all over. It all goes downhill. Downhill. <laughs> and again, like we said, it's a psychological movie, so it's really like. Yeah. Would you say like? I don't want to give it away. Mm -mm. Can I use but, a word? Yeah. A word. Okay. No, that's fine. Okay. It's like a a cult movie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. It's not a well, no. It's a hundred percent a cult movie. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I was about I to say, worry. but I forgot they did cover that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a cult type of movie, so mm -hmm. don't, yeah, we don't want to give away much at all. So mm -hmm. you guys should, you know, definitely check it out. But it was good. I we mean, obviously, you know, I think review wise, it might not be the best reviewed on Netflix, but it it was it surprisingly was in the top 10 good. For a, a yeah, week or so. it was in the top ten. On it the sure was. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It was surprisingly really good, really good. Mm -hmm. So. So I definitely, we definitely recommend that one. Mm -hmm. So if you guys get a chance, check that out. If, if you enjoy, I mean, there's not like. I feel like horror. Well. It's not too gory. It, it's not really gory at all, right? But it's. It's, it's a little it's, bit. It's but scary. It's, it's not like pleasant. Yeah. Yes, but I guess my point is. It's not. Um, it's not like your average horror movie where maybe there's monsters or there's some sort of like. No. demon type of thing or nothing like that mm -hmm. it's very much just these people that are in a cult have a philosophy and they live in this apartment complex mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're very and, and they're serious into about their, their philosophy they're into their philosophy mm -hmm. thinking it's going to make a better and world or something yeah and if you don't follow it you there's consequences exactly so, exactly you'll see so that's one br check that out on netflix one br can I say the next movie? Yes, you can. All right. The next movie is Project Power. That's Project Power. Project Power. Did I say that? I know. Oh. I was imitating you. I was imitating you on the one beer situation. Oh, uh, got it, got it. Yeah, it's Project Power. Pro I was like, did I not say that? <laughs> I actually had I a thing. I'm like, did I say that wrong or something? It did not flow. Okay, cool. Got it. I was it. Okay. Anyways, Project Power, guys. You probably, maybe you've even seen, uh, if you have Netflix, looking through movies and stuff. Maybe you've seen it. Maybe you've seen the the, the box for it. It's Jamie Foxx, mainly, is mm -hmm. the star in there. And, um, and of course, there's some other people, obviously, in there, but he's the main. Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Oh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, yes. Jamil saw in person once. I know. <laughs> from across the room. Actually, at Soul Food, the place where we got this from. Yes! He was in. He was in the area because I'm telling you, this place is amazing. Things come full circle sometimes. They do. Anyway, they really do. Okay, we digress. Yeah, it was so weird that he was there too. It's still well, random. Anyways, I'm gonna keep going. I'm upset that I didn't. Get <laughs> well, to see. He, oh, yeah, exactly. Got Let's it. not talk. That's okay. 
<laughs> Maybe one day. Okay. Maybe if he starts watching mukbangs, we can. Yes, show support and love it. We're here. <laughs> Maybe he watches them. I don't know. <laughs> no, but anyway, so um, so the movie is pretty much about, um, without giving away too much, it's about a drug, and this uh, the is the main part of the um, story. This drug gives you superpowers. Now, it's connected to like your genes so everybody has different powers mm -hmm. but you don't know what those powers are till you take the drug so pretty much uh you know there's a little bit of like a war on the streets because you have drug dealers trying mm -hmm. to sell it mm -hmm. but at the same time you actually have the police trying to stop it from spreading and stuff like that so there's corruption within and i don't want to you know th this one's easier to describe without giving anything away mm -hmm. because the story is what really makes it. It's corruption in the law enforcement. Exactly. Um, there's, mm -hmm. you know, the the pill's really dangerous because you can, and it can either give you superpowers, but you can also OD on it really easily, yeah. so you just don't know. Exactly. Based on, like, your genes, like, some genes can't handle it. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. so, um, Yeah. So it was good. really good because mm -hmm. the acting was great. The acting was great. Mm -hmm. Oh, the acting was really, Jamie Foxx is a good actor, by mm -hmm. the way. I love Jamie. Like, it's crazy. Like, even when... Because some movies that he plays, and obviously, like, you know, like this one. I would say this one's kind of a... I don't want to say this one was, like, a lower budget, although it kind of was. It was more of just, like, a... Not a... It's not a blockbuster, you know? I feel like it would have been a blockbuster if it wasn't for it would have been. It would. It might have been in theaters, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, but still, even with that, I mean, his acting still stands out so much. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, Joseph Gordon-Levitt's a good actor, too, so he was in there, too. But anyways, um, check it out. It's really good. Uh, I, I would definitely say probably one of the better movies in a while I've seen on Netflix, for yeah. sure. I for would Netflix, yeah, movie, yeah, I thought it was really for good. For Netflix mm -hmm. movie. So it was really good, fast-paced. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say about that one. I'm putting Jimmy Fox on my hall pass officially. <laughs> Even where he's at now, huh? He's a Even. little, you know, he's a little bit of an older gent mm -hmm. for my age, but mm -hmm. I don't care. I don't care. He looks young and he's fine. Mm -hmm. And I love his personality. So I, he is my hall pass. So he's next Officially. to Flavor? In Flavor Flav? <laughs> I always say that. Yes. And it irritates me. That's what's up. <laughs> okay. And then the Thank final. You. Thank you for your support. Right. No, so Jamie Foxx hits on me. <laughs> We're, it's good. not going to ruin our relationship. I have a hall pass. <laughs> That's okay. all good. I'll just be like, Jamie, give me some money at least. <laughs> just give me 10000 man. That's all. <laughs> That's all I need, man. Give me 10 Gs. Good to go. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing. Um, okay, and then final movie, final, or oh. show, actually. Okay. And I'll let Kristen talk about this because right. as much as I love it, and I, guys, surprisingly, this is such a good show. It's really good, at least for me, surprisingly. Um, I'll let... Yeah. Kristen, take it from here. You guys, we're not cult classic people, really. Yeah. We're not, like, yeah. you know, I don't know. Just this isn't necessarily yeah. something we wouldn't have normally ever. We have seen this on Netflix for a long time and yeah. have always scrolled through. We're like, yeah. heck no. We're not watching that. Mm -hmm. okay. It's called. It's a show, and it's a spinoff of the movie The Karate Kid. Uh -huh. It's called Cobra Kai. And I am telling yes. you, you guys, <laughs> there's two seasons so far, and it's so... Yes. Good. Now, I do. I, can I add something really quick? Yes, but I just feel stupid even saying it. <laughs> well, no, don't feel stupid because I, I don't know if a lot of people like it or not. The thing is, for us guys, it's it's new because we haven't heard anything about it. We haven't heard people talking about it. I mean, I think I heard about it when the first season came out. I remember it was kind of the talk, but nobody said it was good. Uh -huh. no, like, I didn't hear not one person I knew say it was Here's good or anything. I just heard people talk about it. And I remember looking up on IMDb, and it got bad reviews. Mm -hmm. So I was like, we're definitely not going to watch this. Nope. <coughs> <Ooh>. Nope. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, we gave it a shot. Crystal was like, let's watch it. And I was just like, ah, okay, fine. And uh, I mean, one of the best shows. You guys have seen The Karate Kid. Yeah. Yeah. It's nostalgia at its finest, but yeah. done really well. It is. It's not... Okay. A couple corny things, corny. Not, but not corny in a way that you don't want to watch it. Well, it's corny in a funny way. Yeah. It's corny in a funny way. Yeah. That's what's good about it. Yeah. Like, you know, they, they do all of the, you know, um, mm -hmm. they have, you know, if you're a Karate Kid fan, if you were... Take back. Exactly. Where they're, uh, they have like the Mr. Miyagi uh, things that... He kind of did, mm -hmm. you know, and they kind of show that in the in the in the show, mm -hmm. but it's done so well. It's just, mm -hmm. it's it's almost like they knew the original was corny to begin with, you know, 
Even though, you know, we like the Karate Kid, but you know, it's corny, you know, let's be real. Um, <laughs> and then they made it into almost a comedy, but with some real, you know, serious moments in mm -hmm. there. And yeah. Danielson yeah. um, and Johnny, you know, oh, the, yeah. the villain in the movie original and the, yeah. the main karate guy. Yeah. They're actually co-executive producers of this That's show. Right. Mm -hmm. And they are killing it. They're doing yeah. such a good job. Exactly. And it's, so it's cool because what they do is they I'm take with my the hair. What was up? Oh, it's floppy on the top. Okay. Uh, <laughs> ignore it, guys. Good. Ignore it. Okay. <laughs> so they take obviously it's Cobra Kai. If you, for those of you maybe who've seen Karate Kid, but maybe not too familiar with it, Cobra Kai was the martial arts uh, class or studio or dojo. Um, that was the bad, the bad side. Mm -hmm. So the kid, Johnny, who was the bad kid, that was his karate school where mm -hmm. he came from. Um, so this time they show the side of him and kind of his mentality and everything. Yes. And it's great. I mean, obviously I'm not going to give too much away, but <laughs> what's funny about it is they made it seem like, cause you guys all know karate kid. You know what happened at the yeah. end? The fight, <laughs> him losing it was like. He's the, never left that that moment. Yes. He's never left the moment. He's 30 like years he's later. 35, or however many years later. later. Yeah, 35 <laughs> years later. They make it seem like he is just stuck in that he, stuck moment in that, of yeah. loss and defeat. Yeah. And anger towards Daniel's son. Exactly. Um, mm -hmm. Daniel. But, you know, know. Just, like, just like he's stuck, you know? So he's mm. struggling. He's an alcoholic. He's, yeah. he's not doing much of his life with his with life, the, and he's life. angry. Yeah. But it's it's good because you know they really they really do a good job of mm -hmm. showing the different side, right? Um, can I tell them the fan theory? Or is tell, that no, tell them the fan theory. Okay, yeah. so there's a fan theory that I remember years ago, kind of coming up, uh, coming out online, and I I feel as though you might have seen it. Yeah, maybe um, they they included it in this story, mm -hmm. or maybe they were the first to to put out. I think the fan they included theory. it in the story. Yeah, so so pretty much what a fan theory is, you know, essentially it's they they're taking the movie and they're spinning it. So they're looking at it and they're like, wait a second, maybe you know. So you you had Daniel son, Dan, you know, the main dude, Daniel, Daniel, and Mister mm -hmm. Miyagi, and then you had the bad kid who was you know and his coach or his sensei, mm -hmm. which I don't remember his name Crease. right now, Crease. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, they spin it where they're like, well, wait a second. Was it Daniel's son that was the bad guy, or, or sorry, was it Johnny was the bad guy, or was it Daniel's son? Wow. And they talk about the story, and this is the fan theory, where they say, like, um, you know, if you watch, you know, if you watch the movie through, you see, like, uh, uh, Johnny and his girlfriend are just chilling, they're just perfectly mm -hmm. fine. Daniel's son comes in here, tries to pick up his girl, mm -hmm. starts talking to her, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So hoses him down with water for no reason at some point, punches him for no reason. Yeah. So there's all these things that happen there's in the movie. There's these things that make Daniel as the villain. As the villain. And Johnny yeah. was just defending his girlfriend. Yes. And Daniel's like starting the stuff. So exactly. it's the spin. <laughs> like if you watch The Chronic Kid, you see. You see, you can tell that Daniel yeah. is the innocent one, and he's the one getting picked on because it's his perspective. Yes, this is cool because it gives Johnny's perspective. Yeah, and, and you're it, just like, oh, and you're like, yeah, Daniel's son was kind of messed up. Yeah, he's kind of a jerk to him. <laughs> he's kind of a jerk. Yeah. So Johnny is kind of yeah. like, no, like you try yeah. to take my girl. Yeah, you try yeah. to take my girl. I was just yeah. defending my 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 exactly girl, my girl. and yeah. defending my situation, and yeah. you started this. You know, yes. so you see it from his perspective, perspective. Yeah. so I like that. Yeah. Because that's good, because I feel like The Karate Kid, the only thing that it did leave you with is, like, the st backstory of Johnny. Yeah. You didn't yeah. really have that. Yeah. Now you yeah. go, anyways, Cobra High's really good. There's two seasons. We've only seen one so Yes. Long. Yeah. It's so, it's so good. We're actually going to, after this, we're going to watch the second season. Yes. Because it's that good. It's that yes. good. We watched the, I think we watched it all in two nights. The yeah. first season? Yeah, three. Okay, maybe, maybe it was three, three nights. It was three you nights. Gotta see it's so good. Yeah. If you okay, but here's what I want to say. It's it's maybe not gonna be for everyone. I can't say everyone's gonna love it mm -hmm. perfectly, but I would you know, and I say not everyone because it just depends on your humor, the humor that you like. Um, the story is so well done, mm. like the writing is so good. It is. How they put, I mean, it's layers of like just story mm -hmm. and things just match so well together. Mm -hmm. It's 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 incredible, yeah. It's very, really good. very I'm good a big, writing. We're a big movie We would so. never say that. <laughs> and writing buffs and stuff, yeah. Yeah, because usually when something's yeah. done well yeah. and then it comes back 30 years late. Okay, it's, for yeah. example, like yeah. I'm not a, I wasn't a huge fan of Fuller House. 
Yeah. I wasn't a huge yeah. fan of like maybe the shows that have come back for a little bit. You know, yes. I was like Boy Meets World and then it was Girl Meets World or something like that. Yes. I wasn't a huge fan of those. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're not, you know, we're not like huge fans of that when things come back. I have to say something really fast. Hold that thought though. Tashika, shout out to you because you mentioned Sister Sister was on Netflix, which we didn't even know. Yes. Uh, I was going to, because you wrote it in the live and we were going to come back to it and oh, I completely yeah. forgot to mention it. I love Sister Sister. But I'm glad you said it because it literally we, it popped up and I was like, okay, we're going to watch that because mm -hmm. Sister Sister was one of our favorites. Both of us like that. Yeah. Yeah. Which is really good. Yeah. I love Sister Sister. Yeah. So good. you interrupted me for a Sister Sister. Anyways, yes. Sister Sister. Well, yeah. I'm about to start singing to that song. Sister. Sister. Oh, I knew you were going to do Never that. knew how much I missed you. <laughs> okay. All right. Keep going. What I forgot what I was saying. saying. You were saying oh, yeah. House. Yeah. We're not really like fans of like the revives yeah. or whatever. Whatever we call it. Yeah. But um this one is really really good it's and on again it is on a whole other level mm -hmm. it gets more store and more depth and it's so nostalgic it yeah. kind of gives you puts you back to what happened yeah and it's just done really really well and the characters are great really good character development in the mm -hmm. show please mm -hmm. watch it Cobra Kai. okay yes I, so i would say in this order if depending on how you do it if i would watch power project power first in my opinion then i would watch you know what? Just yeah, watch. Yeah, I would say there's really no order. <laughs> there is no order. It's really just what you like, you know? Yes, yeah. It's really, exactly. Yeah, we like to That's exactly right. So those are the three movies we've been, or three recommendations movies, recommendations. Okay. recommendations. Um, but we've been watching those um, for the last week or so. Um, check them out, you guys. Definitely check all that stuff out. Absolutely. Uh, let us know what you think. Comment below. Let us know if you've seen it. Mm -hmm. and let us, if you've seen Cobra Kai too, specifically. Yeah, let us know. What let you us thought. know because I'm, I'm just I'm curious. Like, are we tripping? I, don't I know. That, no, we're definitely not tripping because actually, speaking of the review, yeah. when I saw it the first time, it was really low. Sometimes movies will, or shows or anything on IMDb will start off low for whatever reason, but when we checked again, it was like an 8.8 .8 out of 10, mm. which is that's really good for a show IMDb. that's really high. That's really high. So, anyways, I recommend it. I highly recommend it. Shout cool. out again to all of our uh, members yes. who have joined our membership program on Absolutely. YouTube and Facebook. Thank mm -hmm. you. Big shout out to you if you want to join our membership program, please. We'd love please to do. have you. We're going to have so much fun with it. That's right. Um, so, we love you guys. Absolutely. And, you guys, um, we're going to continue making these videos. We'll be back again tomorrow yep. with another one. Um, yeah, we got some, some updates and stuff like that, too. We're going to be announcing probably through the weeks and stuff, little small things that we're going to be doing more of, which mm -hmm. is great. And uh, But from now, check out the membership. Let us know what you think if you're uh, interested in joining. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Share this kid. Any friends and family know what the KNJ fan is doing. Yes, and until next time, guys, we hope you have a wonderful day, evening, or night, whatever time it is out there for you. And we will see you next time with another video tomorrow. With a, No. No. Another day. Another day. With another video. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out, Chad. Peace.